I'm not supposed to why you why my meal. This is Coda, and he is a one year old Samoid. Known for their luxurious, fluffy white coats, believe it or not, although they do shed, Samoids tend to not cause a reaction in people who suffer from allergies to dogs. This is due to their low dander production. Cute. And another common trait of the Samoid is their unique and persistent bark. Originating from Siberia, cutie, they were bred for hard work in the coldest habitable places on Earth. The North they Pola. were used to hunt and herd reindeer and to keep the Samoyed people warm during the cold Arctic nights. In the North Pole? Chat. Do people, do people live in the North Pole? The excessive barking is a regular trait of any herding breed. And we all know the Samoid for their famous Sammy smile. Oh, scientists. While many might think that the breed was selectively bred this way for the cute and appealing trait, it actually plays a very important role. The purpose of those upturned corners are to prevent the dog from drooling and forming icicles on their face. I bathed Coda twice today in our oh, okay. bright white shampoo, and then I fully conditioned him. After that, I towel oh, him dry. Crying. I spray him down in our quick dry spray, and then I brush that through his coat. And now I will leave you to oh, enjoy no, the, the Samoid Symphony. Oh, that's annoying. Oh, dude. After he is dry, I brush him out with my coral slicker brush. Chad, there's, I tried there's something soothing about, about and a peace taking offering. all the shedding but off of a cat or a dog. Coda hates me. Having been bred to live in tents with their owners, when they are the very brush. loyal companions and often suffer from separation anxiety. And although Coda has made my ears bleed and nearly knocked me over, he was very well behaved to have his nails clipped. Oh, you still full of shedding here, man. Take it off, man. Good boy. Oh, he's laying here to do the pop ads. Very respectful, nice. Oh, fresh paw pads. Coda's groom is not complete until I can comb through him all over with my metal comb. I sprayed him down in our sweet petals cologne, and this adorable, fluffy, and obnoxious boy is all finished. Oh, he looks really Here nice. Is his before and after. I hope you all enjoyed the deafening Coda. And of oh, wow. course, He's at lustrous. the end of his groom, he is ready to accept some treats. Well, no, no difference. There's a big difference, man. It, it always looks lustrous before, but more after. Occasionally. Sometimes they have the matting. The matting is like the, the disgusting plaque. It's, it's so vile. But more. This is Jackson Sonic. He is a one-year-old Maine Coon cat, and this is his first professional grooming appointment. The first thing I'm going to do is remove his weapons, because cats are notorious for trying to permanently Oh, he has big-ass claws. Look at for this thing. For those of you that have asked, clipping the claws on a cat is perfectly safe and not the same as declawing. Now I am shaving out his well, matting no before the bath. That way, it'll be easier to dry him. The majority of his matting is located in his back end, his groin, his armpits, and behind his ears. So far, Jackson is being quite tolerant. I'm using my hand to feel his body for any matting that I may have missed. He had a very large mat in his armpit, which I had to use a 30 blade to remove. 
Jackson felt that this was an unacceptable situation and decided to give me a warning. Like, and when I ignored- It's like a mix of bullshit. Like I think like uh, like sweat, dirt, shit. Uh, um, I, I would assume like um, uh, um, litter box stuff or whatever. Just, just everything. No, it, no but it has a, it's mostly hair, but there's like some, some solidifying agent. No? Oh, they don't sweat, but still though, still. Isn't that like, it's like a mix. It's all the hair's tangled, but there's more to it. For the king's orders, he got a little bit more feisty. There's more. So I put his royal highness in the cone of shame. He looks defeated and royally pissed off. It's I not keep just him in the cone hair. I don't while think I finish so. shaving out his matting for my safety. Matting is tight balls of hair that cannot be brushed out. After that is completed, it's time for <laughs> inconvenience number two. First, I am spraying him with just water to see his reaction. Then when I realize that he is quite calm, oh, I switch wow, over that's to a good soap. Cat. Unlike dogs, cats have very delicate necks. So you do not want to put anything around them while you're working on them. This makes it a little bit difficult, and I have to constantly have a hand on him so he does not jump out of the bathtub. That's a good boy. He is clearly not having a good time. Maine Coons were bred specifically as a domestic. My cat would have committed murder at this point. The ancestral origins of the Maine Coon are unknown. They are nicknamed the Gentle Giant, and their personality is as close to a dog that you can get in cat form. After his bath, I rinse him down, and then I towel him dry. Now we move on to the high-velocity dryer. I can't have Jackson the house. is not fond of this current experience, and he feels that with the happy hoodie, he is frozen in place. He is giving the ultimate death stare and is most certainly plotting my demise. Uh, it's okay, he's chilling. Three years As we are before. almost finished, he puts in his complaints. He did not like the high velocity dryer on his belly, so I finished that part off with my small handheld dryer. If you notice, he is pulling his ears back, which means that he is an angry cat. Yeah, he's about to attack him. Now that he is dry, I brush him out with my slicker brush. And then I switch over to the metal comb. I pay attention to the animal's behavior. He stops licking himself and stares at the comb, so I know he's planning his attack. Cats will always give the signature stare before they lash out. I put him in a cone while I finish trimming up his paws, uh, fucking noob. and I notice that I missed a little bit of matting in his groin. As I remove that, Jackson teaches me his final lesson. He is done with the grooming today. All in all, he was a pretty tolerant cat. I he's sprayed him down cone. in our sweet pea and vanilla cologne, and now he's ready to show off to his owners. I always tell owners the truth about their pet's behavior. That's the only way we can work together to fix it. Thanks so much for watching. There he is. Ah. Well, how did our little, how did our little oh, monster do? Wait, wait, wait. Day. Wow. How did he do? Um, he was good for the most part. He smells mm -hmm. good. He does bite if he gets uh, agitated. Uh -huh. and he will swat, uh, but not horrible. So we did have to put him in a cone just so I could finish doing yeah. his feet and certain things. He, um, he didn't like having that one really bad mat shaved out. Did you wash him? Yes, we did. Oh, we did wash him. We did wash him, blow dry him, everything. <laughs> I'm looking at the cat then. Wow, she's doing a good job with the cat thing. Oh! Today I am doing a breeder job one that I have never done before. Oh, these ones are this huge! Is and he is a Finnish Lapland. I always get a little bit nervous when working on a breed that I haven't done before because I don't exactly know what to expect. But I am excited because he looks can't like a giant be kind of angry sometimes. I am bathing him can, using my undercoat control snappy. shampoo by the coat handler. Elo's name actually means joy in Finnish. Can, Finnish laughing. What is the big dog with the face like this? And it's <laughs> like um like the hair was <laughs> but there's a What is that? It's not, it's not a massive, not Saint Bernard. No, the the ha a chow, a chow chow, a chow chow. Ciao, ciao. 
Ciao, ciao. Yes, yeah, the one. Yeah. My, my auntie had one of those before. Ciao, ciao. And they're, they're mean. They're pretty, I'm pretty, they're pretty mean. They're, 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 they are decently aggressive, I think. ...are a herding breed, and they were used to herd reindeer in their native land of Finland. Surprisingly. They are brave dogs that are dedicated to their work, but they are also <laughs> very <laughs> friendly with people and other dogs. Since Elo was not losing much hair in the tub, I decided not to use my de-shedding nozzle, which I will soon regret. Link. After I've shampooed his body, I wash his face today in our blueberry facial. Yuck. He has some crusties in the corner of his oh. eyes, so I'm making sure to give that a good scrub. Eat it. And then he gets a complimentary head massage. After that, he soaks me while I fully rinse him down. Yeah, guys, I always feel that when I see the, the, the dogs, right? That the crusties so so down that their entire skin becomes red or like a, or like a weird wine color and black and it's like a whole like river that's like and it's like it's like crusted it's like stuck in place and like dude poor fucking thing man he can barely blink he's crusted at the wazoo and man. then i move on to towel drying he seems to like this and wants to give me some kisses Aww. i use two bath towels on him and then i spray him down in our vinegar water elo was losing a ridiculous amount of hair with the dryer i was very surprised because no hair came off on my hands while i was washing him this is the most satisfying de-shed I think I've ever done. I am in the middle of a fernado and loving every minute of it. My shop looks like a dog exploded. This cleanup is going to be something out of a horror movie. I instantly regret not using the de-shedding nozzle because it would have made cleanup a lot easier. As you can see, even though he doesn't really like the dryer, it is definitely necessary to use on a coat like his in order to remove all of this coat. Th to answer some of the questions brush it, that I frequently get, I wear a beekeeper's hat while I'm blow drying to prevent hair from getting into my eyes. I also wear a mask while I work in order to limit the amount of hair and dander How that do I this breathe and in. Not brush it. So no, the mask is not COVID related. Once I finish drying his body, I use my little dog high velocity dryer in order to dry his ears and his head. And he is all dry and ready for brushing. Oh. Today, I am brushing him first using my coral brush. Oh my it's hard God. to believe that Elo is still losing hair. After the slicker, I switch to my undercoat rake. The owners mentioned to me that Elo does not like brushing at home. This is because all of that compacted coat underneath would it be difficult him. to pull out with just a brush. And that's why we use the blow dryer. Then I clip his nails. And I shave out his very fluffy paw Oh, pads. wow, he can't walk for shit with that thing, man. After that, I trim the top of his hairy paws. That is the only trimming that the owners have requested. They also got to pick out their scent, and today they picked Sweet Petals by Eye Groom. And Elo is all finished, oh, looking not incredibly bad. handsome. I fell in love with this breed today, and maybe one day in the future I will own one of my own. Keep watching for his adorable before and after. Four. Wow, that's pretty nice. That was pretty cute. That was pretty cute. Very nice. This is the absolutely gorgeous Alice. She's in. Okay, okay. One more then. Rather than them playing games. Oh, Husky's cute. I've never seen this before, no. Today, I worked on a small bear named Stella. She is an eight-year-old Newfoundland dog, and I see her on an eight-week schedule. Stella has a lot of hair, so she requires several shampoos. She lives on a large property where she gets very dirty. I bathe her in our odor eliminator shampoo, and then I bathe her in our shed control shampoo. She also requires a ton of scrubbing. Newfoundland dogs were bred for a wide variety of jobs. 
They were used to haul heavy loads for farmers. They were also used as livestock guardian dogs. Livestock? And they were used for water rescue because of their incredible strength and extremely heavy double coat. They are intelligent dogs that are laid back and easygoing. Great for first time dog owners as long as you don't mind the shedding or the drooling or the cost of grooming. The bath alone took me 40 minutes and after she has been rinsed, she shakes herself off. Now I towel dry her with three large bath towels. Sorry. And even after all of that towel drying, she is still dripping wet. That's too big of a dog, no shots. Most people really have no idea how much work goes into grooming a dog like this. They can take anywhere from three to four hours to complete. I sprayed her down in our vinegar water mixture to speed up the drying Did process. Even the eyebrow looked heavy I to fucking handle. And then I sprayed her down with the Stuff for Dogs, which is a conditioning treatment. Now we start the hour-long blow dry. Although grooming Stella is a lot of it work, like me it is very VR satisfying headset. to get her completely clean and fluffed out. And it's so easy to work on a dog that is this well behaved. She really enjoyed the dryer underneath her chin. That is where a lot of her slobber will sit and make her chest very itchy. Today, my little shop dog Melvin is accompanying me while I work. Looks like he a, never leaves my side. Looks like a gremlin. Look After at this fucking Stella thing. Is dry, that's, we a, brush that's a whole rat. Continuously for what seems like a that, decade. That is a small rat. I use my hand to feel her undercoat to see if it's still compacted and requires more brushing. After she is brushed out, I use my 30 blade to shave out her paw pads. Okay. And then I trim her extremely fluffy body. Oh. I tidy up the top of her Grinch paws. And after that, I clip her nails. I still have so much more trimming to do on her front legs, her back legs, and underneath her belly. The booty. Oh, sorry. I switch to my chunkers to finish off her haircut so that I can blend it all in. I pour ear cleaner on a makeup wipe guys, and then guys, I wipe her ears Yeah, Guys, I watch a lot of her videos. It's because when they, when they, go, when they go do their, their needs, uh, it, sometimes they, they get a, they get a um, uh, plaques or whatever you call that. The thing is, stays stuck at the back and it's... It, so in a lot of her videos, she has, to, she has to trim very nicely at the back so there's no um, clumps Clean. that dry up. I'm spraying her down in my Sweet Petals cologne by iGroom. This gorgeous girl is all finished. It's disgusting. Keep watching for the before and after and to see this bear walk in my yard. Oh, it looks pretty good. 24 months of latest relationship ever. I just did a good job. The dingleberries, there you go, that's disgusting. Yeah. Oh, it looks but way more floofy. Oh, it's way more fluffy. She did a good job with this one. That is not that bad at all. There is something about walking an American Akita. Oh, that... we've never seen this before. Okay. One cat? Dude, the cats are fucking annoying. No, sorry. So ugly. Dude, it, it looks, it did, it looks like a super rat. Give me one cat. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, people don't like cats very much, do they? Oh, it's a This is Lily. She's a nine-year-old Persian cat, and today she is coming in for a full shave. 
It's important to note when hair? shaving cats that their skin is very thin. It's fine. So you need to stretch it while you shave to avoid injury. I noticed a live flea while I was shaving her, so I'm going to dismember it before I show the camera so that it does not jump out of my hands and infect my shop. I clip her claws before the bath. Ugh. And then I'm letting her sit for five minutes in flea shampoo oh, just to make sure thing. that she does not have any uh. more live fleas. Her ear protection is on and she's ready for the dryer. She's a very good cat and does not mind the high velocity dryer at all. Once she is dry, I smooth out her haircut using my 10 blade and then I tidy up her boots. So now are you going to take yourself I'm using to this a room to fix up her, her, her eyes to clean up the gunk? I spray her down in our baby powder cologne. And she's all finished, feeling like a whole new woman. This is cheap. Okay, one, one after that, as I'm done. As I, I'm done, done. Just, just one kitty cat. Just, just. Disgusting. Today, I almost got bit by this handsome creature. This is Henry, he's a border collie, and we are bathing him in our dirty dog shampoo. Henry has always shown aggression for the blow dryer, so we use a muzzle and a happy hoodie, and he turns into a completely different dog. Oh, poor thing. Henry is not normally aggressive for any other part of the groom, but today, while I was shaving out some matting, he spun to bite me, which was a surprise. So I use a muzzle and a groomer's helper to keep me safe. Henry was obviously in a mood today, and during the brush, he started to show some aggression, so him and I had some words. Inappropriate. After that, I clipped his nails, and then I shaved his paw pads, and he was mean again. Tell him. Then I trim the top of his paws. Inappropriate. I spray him in our blueberry cologne, and he asks me for his forgiveness. Thank you for the challenge, Henry. At least you're going home. This is my new line. Inappropriate. Inappropriate. Stop that. Stop that immediately. Halt. Halt your actions. Inappropriate. Loki's own. Even if it's just for the day. Join your stay. Outside the sun is shining.